This is Slade McClendon with Sunbelt Fire and today I would like to show you the newest custom pumper that has been built for the Coleman Fire Department. I would like to thank the Coleman Fire Department, the City of Coleman and the citizens of Coleman for allowing us to build one incredible fire apparatus here. This truck is fully equipped and has been designed by the fire department for virtually any type of emergency that they could possibly have. As you can tell, this is built on an E1 custom cab. It's a Quest design. It actually has the roll cage built into it, as all E1s, and this is also outfitted with airbags throughout the whole cab. You can also tell that this is a rescue pumper design body. I'm going to show another video in a little bit, really outlining all of the options on the inside. This has quite the foam and pump system here. This particular truck is built with a Waterus 2000 GPM pump. It also has the Foam Pro Eclipse 2002 calf set system here. So I'll take you a little bit closer that this will show you all of the gauges here as well as all of the gauges that actually have calves associated with it. Also showing you the water gauges plus for a foam tank for A and B here. You can also tell that this is outfitted with a TFT hurricane remote control monitor. It can be controlled here as well as at the base up top as well as with an electric monitor. This also has the TFT ball intake valve for what you're seeing here. As we continue down, that this is a true rescue pumper body. It has full depth, full height compartments on the inside. Also has coffin compartments up tight, up top. This also has a 20 kW smart power generator that sits situated right back there. There's lights throughout the whole truck here. There's also a light tower, a Wilbert light tower up top that I'll show you another shot here in a second. This is where all of the SCBA compartments would be. As you look off the rear, that this is the rear look of, of their pumper right here. This particular truck has an 820 gallon water tank, 40 gallon class A and then 40 gallon class B. It actually has the aluminum hose bed cover. The hose load will actually carry 200 foot of two and a half inch on the left side 1,200 feet of 5 inch LDH and 200 foot of 200, I mean, two and a half inch hose as well there. You can tell that this has a safety rear vision camera and a rear directional light bar. This also has discharges all off the right and the left here. That you can also see they have mounted a TFT blitz fire that can be taken straight off of the truck here. It has steps on both the right side and the left side, and it also shows up here the hydraulic ladder rack. This also comes with all the ones, has the SCBA striping and all of the rub rails with our gator grip design stepping to just protect the firefighter from coming off. As you can tell, that this particular hydraulic ladder rack is actually mounted on the outside, so it's not taking away any compartmentation on the inside. There's also coffin compartments up top as well. This side on the officer is actually showing you the backboard storage as well as their pre-connect hose lays for right here that, that are caps as well. This is just showing you the three inch di discharge here as well as the two and a half gated wide here. These are also TFT products as well. As we look into the cab, this cab is truly outfitted with a lot of features in here. All of their SCBAs are MSA. They're mounted into the cab right here with the new seat belt or the SCBA release here. They've actually got an SCBA here and an SCBA here. Their lights are mounted in here. And both of this, of, of this particular compartment is a medical cabinet, full height, full depth, and then another medical cabinet on the left side as well as one on the right side. Actually come into the front here for the actual officer here. 
as you can tell, the E1s have done a great job in making sure there's just plenty of room for the seating for the officer here. They also have a mount here for a laptop computer should they need that. This truck is fully outfitted with the Firecom headsets that are mounted for the driver officer and the guys in the rear as well. So this seat is obviously has the SCBA mounted in there as well as the compartments that are that are up underneath the seat. This particular truck is outfitted with the Q2B, I mean excuse me, with the air horn right there. And as we take a look in here that you can actually see that this truck has a multiplex system throughout the whole cab and then the driver has a safety rear vision camera that he can see off to the side. This will give you a quick snapshot for where the actual uh, firefighters would be in the rear and then showing you the other medical cabinet off the side. All of the doors are actually ROM doors as well. As you can also tell, this cab actually has electric windows and electric locks. One feature that people have really come to appreciate on the Quest cab is there's no bar blocking the view for the driver as he's looking left to right. The front of the cab has a Q2B siren right here, the air horns. It also has a boost reel for right here, as well as another front jump line that is plumbed for this bumper. All of the lighting for the light bar and for the lower level lighting is Wayland LED. Now this is a 12 volt lighting right here on the front that I'll show you another picture in a little while that just really shows you how bright it is. And then it also has a spotlight up top. One more neat feature for the actual um, driver is it does have electric locks here as well as a remote keyless lock as well. People have really come to appreciate the flexibility and all of the options to help the driver. It has obviously tilt wheel, you know, um, the tilt wheel here for the actual podium there as well as the electric pedals. Everybody might be a different um, height and so the pedals are actually electric as well. This also has the electric seating here for the actual driver. Then it has the new gauge clusters right here. So as you turn it on, it'll actually show you the back light right here for the actual driver. I'd like to show you one more quick view of the truck from the actually top down and it'll truly help you appreciate really how many features that they have actually put together into the truck. All the E1 cabs, for whether it's a Vista roof or a straight cab, all again have the roll cage protection. It's the strongest cab built in the industry, but it also allows for other options to be placed on here as well. So you can tell that it has a night scan by Wilbert right here, the actual spotlight and the actual AC system here the brow lights up top there. You can also tell that this has the TFT hurricane monitor right here. It's also showing you where the 20kW smart power generator is. It actually has a light for the hose bed to be, it, to be able to show you for where anything is in the hose bed. We'll take another quick look here, but this will actually show you the top of the actual truck here. So this is showing you the full complement of ladders, pipe poles are on here as well. All of this is, is capable of being walked on should they ever have to step up there on top. This also actually gives you a better perspective of the coffin compartments here. I'd like to thank you again for letting us show you the, the Coleman Fire and Rescue Pumper here. I'm going to actually show you another video of the actual compartment layout here for the truck and to let you see how they utilized every space into the truck. Thank you again, Coleman.